The Blue Box is a professional speaker emulator using the latest IR technology. Well, I have seen many speaker simulators in my life and back in the days they were all analog. In the analog world you have filters that re recreate the frequency response of guitar speakers. Well, it's getting to a certain point but to be honest analog has its limitations there. I found that IR technology or so to speak convolution technology gets a much deeper and more authentic tone of the guitar speakers. Plus you can have a lot more speakers in your device. So I choose to have this kind of technology in a very simple to use um, format. It looks like analog but it's actually digital and um, for me the most important thing is in a live situation you have only a few knobs to tweak to be ready to have your tone. So I decided to have a cap type switch that selects your favorite out of 16 cabinets and only one control for tone which is the mic position switch which emulates the sound if you put a microphone on the edge of a speaker or in the center. On the edge is smooth and warm, in the center is kind of more bite and brighter. But to be honest, I mainly use the middle position which is perfectly balanced in the middle. When I did the speaker emulations for each of the sounds here, I have chosen my favorite microphones including Shure SM75, SM7, Sennheiser MD441, all the classics, Neumanns, you name it, to mic up my personal preferences in speakers which I have been using in the studio and on tour. And there are some really nice ones, some classic uh, Fender Tweed Deluxe 57 speaker from, my, from this amp or some old Vox uh, uh, combo speakers and of course a lot of 4x12. So you can see there is a Stack 65 which is a good old British Stack loaded with Alnico 12 inch speakers. The 67 has the very first one of green bags with 20 watts. The Stack 1970 is the 25 watt uh, Greenback with the uh, 55 Hertz, my personal preference I've used on all my records um, and so on. There's a Stack 71 and a Stack 80 uh, Metal CL80 Metal V30. You, you, you can imagine what that is. A Jazz 120 and um, a bunch of the Fender and other cabinets that I modeled. They are all from my private collection so I know how they should sound and I spent a lot of time to getting the sounds perfect so you just plug in and recall the sounds and you are all set. Yeah, maybe a few sounds for you to listen to. I use the clean channel with uh, like a twin cabinet. <laughs> Or like that's the same amp setting but I'm just switch over to a 1964 Fender and I'm down <laughs> 210 um, yeah let's listen to this Tweet Deluxe with a different sound oops too noisy less gain here and have some
Yeah. So there's a lot of character in these caps. Same tone like with the 4x12. So this was the same setting, just with a different speaker cabinet. And now you can see in the combination with Amp1, you can get very authentic sounds. And this is, to me, the best option how to record direct. Because what I'm using here is the Amp, no speaker connected, straight into the blue box, straight into your audio. So you are hearing no real guitar speaker. It's only this blue box simulation. And in the combination of Amp1 and the blue box, the Amp1 becomes a super versatile studio tool. On the other hand, you can still have your cabinet in a live situation with that and have a very consistent sound straight into the PA system. So you dial in your favorite setting, leave it there and play the gig with it. And every night you have the same tone with the blue box. Blue box can be combined with any guitar amplifier. So there is a speaker level input and a speaker level through. If you have a transistor amp, it's not a problem um, to have no speaker connected. If you have a classic old, old school tube amp, you need to have a load or a speaker connect to the speaker through. The classic tube amp needs a load. So you better plug in your guitar speaker here, or if you want to do silent recording, you have to get um, some load box and plug it in here so your tube amp will not be damaged. Um, the socket here is a line input. This can be used with uh, any guitar preamp or even with a pedal. If you want to have a very small compact setup, you just have an overdrive pedal into the line input straight into the PA. And it sounds pretty good for what it is. Um, so these are the inputs. The switch here is an input sensitivity switch from high, mid and low sensitivity to adjust to your level of uh, amp settings. If, if you are uh, in the middle position it always works. If you are in a lower setting you can have a very quiet amplifier and still have a lot of signal coming out of the blue box. The blue box works with any uh, DC 9 to 18 volts DC power adapter and um, has two separate outputs here. There is a transformer balanced microphone level output which we are listening right now to and the transformer avoids any hum problems since on the one end there is your amplifier which has a certain ground and on the other side there's your PA system or your recording device and this could cause hum problems with the transformer balanced output uh, it simply disappears. You put on the, the ground lift and there's no hum uh, possible. The other output here is a line out which can also be used with the headphones. So you could have your headphones in here and have a little nice practicing at home. Um, the Blue Box VSC is a collection of my 16 favorite cabinets that I have been using in the studio and on tour. And it's such an easy tool for recording and touring.